So, here you are with rich insights at your fingertips, you're getting information that you've never seen before, finding sensitive data in places you didn't even know data existed. What next? What do you do with all this newfound knowledge? If you've been following along, you know that with automatic DLP, gaining visibility across your entire organization and keeping sensitive data secure is now easier than ever. If you haven't seen our previous videos, Check out this playlist as we cover some necessary contextual info. So, what data-driven actions can you take to protect your data? Well, you can investigate the findings further by running a deep inspection scan. An inspection scan provides more options for what to scan and gives individual findings down to the byte and cell level. Think of it as a deep investigation tool. You can create a de-identified copy of your data based on what AutoDLP found and use those copies in your business operations instead of the original tables. This obfuscates the values of PII while maintaining the raw data. You can delete the problematic table, fix IAM permissioning, or monitor data use through dashboards. Let's take a look at some scenarios. First scenario, we'll talk about a table found with credit card numbers and a high free text score. You just started at your new job on the security team as a data risk analyst and brought in automatic DLP since you used it with your previous team. You can configure profiling for your organization and the auto DLP profile results indicate that a column in a table is found with a high free text score and evidence of credit card numbers and other personally identifiable information, or PII. This means that there may be a column of unstructured data in your table that has instances of PII in it. This could be a note or a comment field where someone typed in a credit card number instead of in a credit card field. This is an indication of potential risk and is likely not something you intended to store. You flag it to your manager and suggest running a deep scan to investigate further and pinpoint where the sensitive data is. It turns out that some customers have been adding their payment information into a field that was not designed to store sensitive data. The notes and comments are very useful, but you don't want the raw PII visible. So you decide to obfuscate PII through DLP's de-identification service. Now, your new manager is impressed, your company's data is protected, and your overall data risk is lowered. You can learn more about deep scans and de-identification with our Getting Started with DLP series here. Our second scenario is about a table that was found with sensitive data and shared broadly. After running a scan, Automatic DLP identifies a table that contains hundreds of emails and home addresses. The table was intended to be temporarily shared with Carl on the events team since he's helping to send out some swag to customers. Turns out, instead of being shared directly with Carl, this table was made public and shared across every department in the entire company and even partner teams and potentially the whole internet. So now not only does Carl and everyone on the events team have access to this sensitive information, but it could be publicly exposed outside of the company. This highly increases the risk of exposure and possible misuse of information. Now that you've been made aware of this issue, you can remediate it by adjusting the permissions on this table to remove public access and add Carl directly as the specific user that should have access to the data, which is probably what should have been done in the first place. In addition, you can use the insights from data profiles to closely monitor your data. For example, you might click from the console dashboard for that table into cloud logging in order to review any recent access activity. More generally, because of this incident, you want to ensure your data compliance team can better monitor sensitive data. Using the pre-made Data Studio dashboard or creating your own puts richer aggregations of your data at your team's fingertips and allows you to monitor your data more easily at a glance. 
You could review the dashboard in your daily, weekly, or biweekly team meetings and see what changes have occurred in your security posture. You could even have the dashboard projected on a monitor in your team's area of the office, so changes can easily be detected by all necessary participants. Automatic DLP is built to minimize the risk of sensitive data being mishandled or exposed and help you prevent privacy, security, and compliance issues. And now you know how to easily monitor and protect large amounts of sensitive data and mitigate data risk. Thanks for coming along for the ride to learn about Cloud DAP and its new automatic GA release. If you have any other ideas or stories about how to use automatic DLP to help protect your organization's sensitive data, share it with us in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.